it's great to have you spotlighted today. Can you tell me how the year has gone so far with the Jackets four games into the season? Well, you know, it's gone pretty well. We're sitting at 3-1, and one, and we have a good chance to be 4-1 and one going into the bye. And that's our goal right now is to go 1-0 and this week. And, you know, we've had a couple good weeks of preparation, and we're looking to continue to do that this week. How have you seen the defensive backfield come together to produce some of the outstanding results you've gotten in the past two weeks? Well, you know, what we've done this year different than last year is we get together every Friday as a group, and that's brought us closer for sure. And we're just getting after it at practice every day, and we're seeing a lot of good results. What kind of things do you do on Friday? Like, take me through, like, a typical thing. Well, the first week we had Ty Fields cook for us. Shout out Ty, it was very good. And then the other week we actually got to go to Coach Hilbert's house, and he provided us with a meal, and it was really good. So the Akron Holy War, as it was called, was played this past weekend. Can you talk about your experience at St. Vincent St. Mary's High School and what the rivalry game with Archbishop Hoban was like for you? Well, unfortunately, this past week didn't go as well as we had planned. But, you know, that's a great rivalry with us and Hoban. And one thing that I think it really taught me was how to play in a big game with a lot of people there, for sure. The academic game plan is a component in place here that the coaching staff talks about through the recruiting process. And you maintained a 4.0 GPA to date rolling into your junior year, which is so impressive. So can you give us some insight how you balance your life with football and academics as well as a social life? Well, I mean, football is a big time commitment for sure. So you gotta be able to manage your time very well. I've done, done so with uh, using a planner and getting with a group of guys that also have similar classes with me as well. What are your plans after your graduation? <sighs> After graduation, well, I'll, I'm studying uh, pre-PT right now, so I'll definitely have to go to grad school. Where that's going to be, I have no idea, but after that, obviously, I'd like to be a physical therapist and maybe stick around in athletics as well. Finally, you're a BW Yellow Jacket legacy on Trestle Field, and I understand your dad played here too. So what does it mean to you playing here at BW the same way your dad did back in the day? Well, you know, uh, a lot of people look at me funny when I wear a 45 as a defensive back because you don't typically see that too often now, but just to be able to go to the same place that my dad did, wear the same number, playing the same games that he did, it, just something about that is just, it's really cool being able to carry that on.